We are headed back to the garage this morning, this time to organize our sports equipment. Our personal organizer, Deb Williams, with Ducks in a Row Organizing, has got plenty of tips for us this morning. Deb, thanks for being back. Hello. Hey, good morning. So, so I, go, go ahead. ahead. <laughs> I walk out in the garage, huge mess. Where do I start? Well, let's start with um, referring back to last week, okay? Mm -hmm. So last week we talked about zoning the garage, and so we've got that plan, and we know we need sports equipment. Mm -hmm. So let's work on the sports equipment zone, okay? Yeah. All right. So sports equipment is generally two types. We've got the more casual type of stuff, and then we've got the really serious stuff. Okay, so let's talk about casual first. Okay. So by casual, that's probably what we're looking at with your little kids, right? You've got a bunch of balls, you've got a bunch of things here and there for different sports, right? Yes. Okay, and so for that type of equipment, we can usually handle that with some shelving and then some um, containers on the shelves, such as uh, big tubs, or big laundry baskets, or for the smaller balls. Um, I was talking to Tony earlier. He said his son's into tennis. There's tennis balls everywhere. Well, tennis balls in a plastic dish pan is probably a great idea, yeah, right? Yeah, there you go. And for larger balls, then a larger tub or a larger laundry basket, and all these can get stacked nicely on a shelf. What we want to be very careful about is when we're dealing with children's things and um, uh, toys and stuff in the garage, is we want them to be easy to get at and even easier to put away. Okay, right, okay. because um, we have a big, big tub yes. of, for all the balls, the soccer right. balls, and then all, every type yeah. of ball, and it has to be on the floor so yes. we can reach it. exactly. Yeah. So that would be on the bottom shelf if you're doing shelving. Okay. Okay, this uh, image is of our favorite thing that we discovered last week, pegboard. Yeah. So when you have um, just a few sports things, pegboard is awesome. You can see how we've got a lot of things up there, but we don't have like a ton of one thing. But look at the net for the balls in the bag. Um, if that was moved down a little bit lower, that might be good for a little kid. Mm -hmm. um, so I love that kind of thing for, for when it, you're just kind of casual about a few things. Okay, so okay. you have just a little bit of stuff. Um, and the next part of it, though, that, get, that we don't get real serious about, but um, it's a problem, are bikes. Right, right, exactly. Bikes are a problem. And you've got, nowadays, it's not just bikes, but it's the helmets, it's the pads, it's the locks. You know, so we have gear with everything. So with bikes, this I absolutely love. This is one of the reasons to clear up floor space in your garage is so you can do something like this. This is something that's so simple. You, you, it's built together with two by fours, um, but any child, no matter their age, can put their bike away in this thing. Mm -hmm. So I it can love be that too. parked in the garage. If you wanted to take that a step further, you could have that up against pegboard where you would be able to store helmets. Now this is something a little more advanced. You know, um, hanging bikes up is a great idea um, depending on how strong you are. Mm -hmm. Not going to work so good with little kids. But somebody here, this came from Pinterest, and somebody here took an old crate and they made it into a um, hanger so that they could put their helmet in there. So everything is right there. Also, you can see right above there, it would be pretty easy to stash water bottle, stash your gloves, stash your, um, your lock. I think it's clever. That's a little great. cutout to put yep. the bike in, just wheel it right in. Yeah, exactly. And you can purchase something similar to this that's pretty slick. Mm -hmm. A lot of urban livers, they um, are hanging their bikes on their living room walls. You know, and so there's very, very cool things out there available for that kind of thing. Okay, golf. That's golf. always around, right, in the summer? Right. Golf now clubs. we're getting to things that require more gear, mm -hmm. you know, and so when we need more gear, then let's get more specific. So a golf organizer, I found this on Pinterest as well. I love this because it gets mm -hmm. everything up off the floor. You've got, look, you've got that top bin for balls. So all and those even shoes. Balls. And shoes, yep, and it's obviously two people, this can work. If you have more than two people golfing, Sure, get more than one, you know, and just have them kind of lined up against the wall. But this is perfect. Going to one spot to get to your gear is the key here, and I think that this does the job perfectly. Okay, when we come back, we'll show a few more photos of what to do with, like, skis and fishing poles. Fishing poles, All right, yeah. Deb Williams, we're organizing our garage, our sporting equipment. We'll be right back.